Spirit Untamed. I saw the trailer for Spirit Untamed, and to tell you the truth, I'm really indecisive about how I feel. You see, on one hand, I really love horses, and one of my favorite movies of all time is Spirit's Talent of the Cimarron, on which this is based. I'm guessing this spirit is probably a descendant of that spirit. I love watching horses run, and I enjoy watching that movie because it had all of the classical things that you could expect. A movie dedicated to horses and hearing a story be told from the perspective of that horse, seeing expressions on said horses, and not ever needing one word of dialogue because you can understand everything spirit and the other horses are saying or feeling based on their expressions. And as an added bonus, you have interesting human characters. And for one, seeing a guy bond with his horse. I hate seeing movies nowadays where it's mostly just a girl and her horse. I get it, mainstream, you see more girls with horses, and I know a lot of men that own horses. But there's this emotional attachment that girls have with horses, knowing that they can control or befriend a 1500 pound animal and have its full power and potential unleashed right between your legs. Having been on the back of a horse, I can attest to this. Trust me, there was nothing sexual going on with that horse and me. When I was learning to ride, I never finished actually. My main thing was befriending the horse before ever getting on her back. I used to take care of the senator and his wife's horses, as well as the other horses they had boarding at their farm. She's a polo player, and her horses were mostly quarter horses, paints, and smaller stature thoroughbreds. So they weren't as intimidating to get on. And when I finally mounted my best friend, a mare named Justice, and cantered with her across the field after her owner's polo match, there was something surreal about it. Not only do I feel a great respect for these large animals who give off the air of descendants of a mythical godlike creature, but the peace of being atop a creature that was once untamed and in many parts of the world still is, that is powerful enough to easily kill you and itself, it's a whole different feeling. It's a similar humbling feeling to riding a motorcycle. It's just this understanding of trust. Just as trust trusted me, and I trusted her. We already bonded, and we would just lie beside each other in the pasture for hours. Of course, bringing them apples in the morning and giving them brush downs and deep tissue massages probably helped me bond with them faster, but it was amazing. <laughs> myself for a second. Oh my god. Okay. But movies like Black Beauty, Sea Biscuit. He fixed us. By the way, Spider-Man Tobey Maguire was in Sea Biscuit. It was freaking hot as a redhead. Also Hidalgo. Spider-Man! And Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. <laughs> cultivate my love for horses. I have played a lot of the older horse racing games, and what I've come to realize is that not a lot of people really care about horses. Growing up in New York, I was surprised how many people were afraid of them. I know friends that had never seen horses in real life, and they would freaking scream and run away like they were supersized wolves or something. So, so, when I watched Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron for the first time, they showcased all the things I'd want to see in a horse movie. And then they shat on it with the miniseries. They traded in the smooth 2D animations for the jostly baby television at 9 in the morning 3D animations that just rubbed the belly button on my Uncanny Valley sensor too hard for my liking. <laughs> Yee. Horses are magnificent and elegant and mysterious, and take it from someone who would watch anything horse related. I mean, I started playing Red Dead Redemption specifically because of the horses, and then I enjoyed the rest of the game, but the horses in Red Dead Redemption 2 was the very reason why I started playing it. It was because of the realism of the horses. Even though Spirit Stallion of the Simmer was a cartoon movie and a cartoon animated movie, they were smart enough to capture the fluidity of the horses' movements perfectly. And then you got this bitch. Get it. Come on. <laughs> I know some of you can't see the difference.
difference, but to me, this is totally different than this. Just, okay, take a look at the scene from, you know, the atrocity real quick before taking a look at what this classic, of what the classic is actually like. Leave him alone! Lucky! <laughs> Now look at this! Look at that! Oh my god, just that scene! The music, his face, the scenery! Oh my god, his mane and tail whipping in the wind with the realism of pain shooting through your torso when you're flushing out the jalapeno pizza you devoured last night! I mean... Oh! This is majesty compared to that travesty we saw earlier. Okay, <laughs> not just that, but... What's with these horses' faces? Their heads look like sneakers with their star stable looking asses. I cannot take this style of animation. What happened to cartoons, man? Oh, now, to be fair, the trailer for Spirit Untamed does look a far cry better than the stupid TV miniseries, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously some kind of grossly childish version of what the actual movie used to be. Is that barn okay? What in the tail feathers? <laughs> is that barn okay? Is that barn okay? What the fuck do you mean? Oh my god. I miss when children movies and cartoons used to have actual dialogue. Remember that? Twould have been better if you just had their faces in shock looking at each other like what the hell is going on rather than forcing her stupid line. Someone that's stupid enough to ask a question like that and is serious about it should not be on the back of a horse. <laughs> And then half the time, Spirit looks like an uncooked hamburger sandwich. Oh my god, I'm done. Why am I getting so angry? I mean, they straight up steal scenes from the original movie, but just made this one look like hot, dirty dishes in the sink garbage. Dude, I'm really trying to like this, but Spirit looks like a fucking wet sponge version of the original. It would have been better if they just used a real horse and CGI'd googly eyes on that bitch, because this ain't it. See, I don't look at this and I'm like, aww. I look at this and I think that creature from the abyss looks unhealthy. I know it's a kid's version. Or is it though? I mean, wasn't the original Spirit Sally of the Cimarron already that? Why do people have to re-childify movies? Don't you realize that when you do that, you just end up making it look like a hot Tim Burton-esque piece of work? How is it possible that the... How is it possible that the cartoon 2D animation of a horse from the same franchise looks more like a real-life horse than the 3D version? You stay away from that horse. We need to get Spirit back to his family. Sign me up. Ew. Take that horse's Nike-looking ass back to the drawing board. Unless you're trying to make them look like the donkey from Trek, their eyes are not supposed to be protruding out at that level. The only way I could remotely forgive something like that is if every single one of these horses were Arabians, and even still, their eyes are supposed to be a little farther apart at the top. Like actual spirits' eyes. Jesus. This is how I feel when I see horse games. It just seems to not be able to get anything right about the way horses run, about the fact that they have their ears pointing backwards when they run, about how their legs move. I used to get so annoyed that they would dedicate an entire game to horses or racing horses or competing with horses and not even get how horses move. Here. Why? Why are the horses' ears backwards when they're galloping? Most mammals, when they're running, pace their ears to their head or to the side of their face when they're running. It helps to slow down wind resistance and helps them to avoid getting wind in their ears. Study the original! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Tell me how powerful this bitch would have to be to leap up off her horse and do a spinning kick and propel herself foot first to drop a grown man in the face who is on a fast moving fucking train. Oh my god. I know. You guys are gonna be like, but all to your It's just a cartoon movie! Yeah, but it's based on the original spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. 
There's a similar scene in that movie, but that was way more realistic than what this plastic human imposter on her sponge face horse just did. How can the physics of a 2D movie look a hundred times better and more realistic than that of a 3D version of itself? Oh my god, Christ in a crystal bowl. Can we give horses a little bit more respect? Can we give horse movies a little bit more respect? Like, come on. I don't like the fact that horses and anything equestrian isn't taken seriously. I know, I know, it's still niche because most people cannot own horses and most people should not own horses. My ancestors owned horses and a whole bunch of animals on their farm and those horses were for work though. And the person who did a lot of that work with the animals were usually the males in the family. According to what I've heard and also seen in my country growing up, the male farmers would either utilize a donkey or a horse to carry other tools or harvest and lead them around just to make the work a little bit easier. Or they would utilize the horse to go around the property to try to get things done faster and to herd goats and sheep. Nowadays, that's not so much of a thing, but usually people would at least have one donkey or one horse or mule and these animals were taken seriously. I know it just seems like I swallowed toilet cleaner, but this is frustration that has been brewing for years. And if we're not gonna get horse movies, actual good horse movies, then can we get some games? We're not just not, we're not just getting bad movies nowadays or just hardly any movies with horses, but we hardly get any horse games. And when we finally do, they're shit. RDR2 helped a lot with that, and I'm just praying to the universe or to the pizza god above that Rockstar will make a horse breeding racing game with those same mechanics and behaviors of the horses. I mean, if we could get something like that where we have a horse racing game where the horses look and feel real, where they can die, they can breed, the males can fight amongst themselves, they can run in herds and they have behavioral problems and look real and age. You can race other people real time and play dirty like kicking others off their horse like you could in Elise online where you could have something similar to a mobile game that came out years ago where you can unlock different colors and unicorns and pegasi okay you know you don't even have to go that far for crying out loud i feel like we could do a lot better than this i've seen animations on youtube about horses that look way better than this i mean for all we know the movie might be great i haven't watched it and it might turn out to be a good movie but to be honest i want to be excited about this but i'm not it just makes me pissed for some reason anyway that's my nonsensical rant thanks so much for watching this has been ulturi you ask we answer we'll need the strength of a thousand marshmallows <laughs> One, two, <three. laughs>